In the dynamic nature of nursing, enhancing motivation is essential for effective learning and knowledge acquisition. When students are motivated, they exhibit increased enthusiasm in their studies, actively pursue new information, and apply their learning effectively. However, the shift to blended learning utilized by higher education unit represents significant change. And in light of this change, will student nurses maintain their level of academic motivation towards this new educational approach? Good day, everyone. I am Ivan Bustamante, and together with me is Alan Azucena, Julian Vico, Danielle Kagape, and Francesca Candiasan, presenting our thesis titled Level of Academic Motivation of Nursing Students Towards Blended Learning Modality. One of the crucial psychological elements influencing students' learning habits and success is motivation. A student's motivation for activities, perceptions, and behaviors are all important for their successful involvement in a learning environment. The study sought to bridge some gaps between the learning of nursing students and improvement of nursing education, with the hopes of enhancing their capacity to demonstrate behaviors that could lead to specific desired clinical attainments. For the study's objectives, it aimed to determine the level of academic motivation among nursing students towards blended learning modality. Specifically, it aims to answer the following question. First, what is the demographic profile of nursing students according to age, sex, grade point average, and place of residence? Second, what is the level of academic motivation of nursing students in terms of the following, extrinsic and intrinsic? And lastly, is there a significant relationship between the level of academic motivation of nursing students and profile variables among age, sex, grade point average, and place of residence? The study utilized a quantitative descriptive research design to achieve its objectives. This design involved the collection of quantifiable data and relied on mathematical and statistical techniques for data analysis. The main focus was on summarizing and describing key characteristics for data sets using measures like mean, standard deviation, and variance. Moving on, there is a total of 962 nursing students from levels 1 to 4, and in calculating the sample size, Slovin's formula computed based on 95% confidence level and 5% margin of error was used. 283 nursing students at the university were identified as the sample size of the study. Then probability something, specifically stratified random something, was used to obtain the samples. Furthermore, a modified standardized questionnaire of which statements are based on the concepts of Sean Fowler's motivation to learn and Valorant's academic motivation scale was used. First part of the instrument is for the demographic profiling of the participants, while part two assesses the level of academic motivation along with its indicators intrinsic and extrinsic. The questionnaire was validated with 4.9 interpreted as excellent and a reliability score of 0.8 interpreted as reliable. For data gathering, the recommended procedures were followed. First, we obtained approval to conduct a study from the nursing office. The sample size required for the study was determined. An on-site survey was conducted and distributed after obtaining informed consent. The completed questionnaires were collected on-site by the researchers. The data gather was checked. Solid, interpreted, and analyzed. Data was securely stored in a sealed box until the end of the data collection period. A statistician used SPSS to analyze the encoded data and apply statistical treatment for objective 1. Frequency and distribution method was used. 2. Mean standard deviation. And lastly, objective 3. Chi square test for independence was used. Ethical concerns guided the whole procedure. First, we requested approval from the head of the nursing office. Then, participants were given informed consent prior to the survey, and the data gather was kept anonymous and confidential. Moving on to the results and discussion for the demographic data of the nursing students, in terms of age, out of 283 participants, more than half of the participants aged 21 years and above, accounting to 56.9%, while 43.1% are 21 years and below. For sex, examining the division of sex variables in detail indicates that the number of female, 56.5%, was much higher than male student nurses at 43.5%. For the place of residence, a significant portion of the respondents lived in areas within Bacolod accounting to 58.3%, while 41.7% out of 283 participants came in provinces or areas outside Bacolod. 
for the GPA, the grade point average among nursing students varies 25.1% out of 283 participants had a GPA of 1.5 to 1 recognized as superior. 18% participants had a GPA of 2.5 to 2.10 recognized as good and 1.8% of the participants had a GPA of 3 to 2.60 recognized as average. Moreover, a larger portion of the participants had a GPA of 2 to 1.60 recognized as very good by 54.4% and only 0.7% of the participants had a GPA of 3.50 to 3.10 recognized as passing. In terms of the level of academic motivation of nursing students, both extrinsic and intrinsic motivation reported a high level of motivation overall. Intrinsic motivation with a mean score of 3.15 and a standard deviation of 0.39 would suggest that the participants had a high level of internal motivation. Extrinsic motivation with a mean score of 3.20 and a standard deviation of 0.43 indicating that participants were highly motivated by external factors and rewards. Overall, the average mean score of 3.18 and a standard deviation of 0.35 for motivation indicates a high level of motivation among the participants. In terms of the level of academic motivation correlated with the profile variables indicates that there is no significant relationship between the level of academic motivation and nursing students when grouped according to age, sex, place of residence, and GPA. When categorized according to age, GP value of 0.11 and a chi-square value of 4.39 with 2 degrees freedom indicates that the, it is not significant. Thus, it implies that nursing students' motivation to succeed academically remains consistent as they progress from ages 17 to 21 to ages 22 to 23. When categorized according to sex, a p-value of 0 0.12 and a chi-square value of 4.11 with 2 degrees freedom means the difference was not significant. This implies that sex does not have a significant impact an academic motivation, being male or female, does not influence the motivation of nursing students to succeed academically. When grouped according to their place of residence, a p-value of 0 0.79 and a chi-square value of 4.46 with 2 degrees freedom was not significant. Therefore, traveling from a student's place of residence does not affect their academic motivation. Furthermore, or a GPA with a p-value of 0.86 and a chi-square value of 3.87 with 8 degrees freedom was not significant. It implies that academic motivation goes beyond just grades and encompasses a student's intrinsic drive, passion for the subject, and desire to excel in their chosen field. In conclusion, this presentation has explored the research on academic motivation among nursing students using blended learning. We have found out that the overall levels of academic motivation of nursing students in the local university was high as well as its indicators, intrinsic and extrinsic. There is no significant relationship in the level of academic motivation of nursing students when grouped according to their demographics. Thus, these mentioned variables could not be an indicator of the level of academic motivation in both extrinsic and intrinsic. Null hypothesis is not rejected. For our recommendation to nursing school administrators can help by organizing life skills workshop for nursing students in order to increase academic motivation. The nursing educators can modify their teaching strategies to enhance the academic motivation of student nurses. The nursing students can experiment with various learning techniques that can help improve their motivation. The parents may establish consistent routines and promote healthy homework habits. Lastly, to future researchers, the researchers recommended employing a qualitative research design to explore nursing students' interaction regarding the matter. We have now concluded our presentation. For more information, you can scan the QR code below embedded in our poster. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.